Hello everyone, this is Amar Yunus once again. In my last video, I talked about uh, how you can stay productive during quarantine period, what you should do in order to save your time and how you can say proudly after the end of quarantine period that you have done something productive. One of my friend has texted me and told me that uh, what I have said, he is completely agree with it. And this is something which is common knowledge. Everyone knows that they have to stay productive. But the real problem is how they can stay productive. So first of all, thank you very much for your honest feedback. I really appreciate this. And this is something which gives me motivation to make other videos. This is a valid question that we know that we have to stay productive, but how we can stay productive. So we can stay productive by generating a snowball effect. So what is this snowball effect? Snowball effect you might have heard. It is a concept in psychology that when snow falls on the hill and when it sl starts sliding from the hillside, this snow gathers more snow, it gathers more mass and it gathers more momentum and slowly slowly it becomes a big ball. The real problem happens when we start planning. We plan in terms of short terms and long terms. When we say short term, we plan for three year or five year. And when we say a long term plan, we plan for next 10 year or 15 years. I think that this is wrong. Because when you plan for 10 years, first seven or eight years, you do nothing and wait for the last years. And three year or five year is also not realistic. So what you have to do, you have to plan your tomorrow. Don't need to plan for next three years or five years. Don't need to plan for next 10 years or 15 years. Just plan your tomorrow. And when I say plan your tomorrow, I am not talking only about time. When you are planning your tomorrow, you have to plan your time plus resources plus energy and those things on which you are willing to sacrifice in order to gain something bigger than that. So there is no need to worry about if you don't have any plans, just plan for tomorrow and slowly, slowly you will start feeling this snowball effect because it will gain momentum. In the beginning, it will be difficult, but you really have to develop the taste for this and make it a part of your life. I also plan my tomorrow and if I have to do so many things, I write them on a paper and use that paper as a checklist. So try this method and then tell me, are you feeling results? And I am sure that after five years, you will feel your plans accomplished. Thank you very much.